Hi, so what's up? Today I'm gonna be hosting another free server hosting that is 24-7 and it's also really really great. Um it's called MC Labs. Yep, MC Labs, whatever you wanna call it. Um it's made by my good friend. Uh wait, what was his name? Uh and the labs, I no. Wait, let me just uh, Yeah, and the labs. <laughs> so um yeah, so I'm sorry <laughs> I forgot his name but yeah it's and labs. So basically he made this host and I'm really excited for it. I have like logged in once. Yes, so you can see logging as in place. So basically I'm gonna leave the link down below in the description of the main website, the dashboard, the Discord, the you know panel and everything like that. I'm gonna be making tutorials on this host, like how to set up plugins and all that. So today we're gonna get you concentrating on a plugin server rather than a bundle server, but I'm gonna be showing you how to make a bundle server as well as a plugin server. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to do it for um for like you know what I mean for bedrock and job. I'm not gonna show you that right now. I don't even I don't know if they have it or not, but that's a suggestion that I'm gonna be giving to Adam Labs. But anyways, let's log in. So you need to uh, select the login first, and as you can see, we have one core CPU that probably is like a hundred percent. 2GBM, 5G disk, which is enough for like you know, 10 to 15 people in a server without lag. We also have, wait, let me just uh, yeah, block the ads. I mean, unblock the ads. So, yeah, you can, you know, I have my ad blocker closed. Um, pause the site. Yeah. All right. We are earning clients now. So basically you can find this here and you can go to the resources store and you can um, buy pushed resources so they are actually not that expensive since every 15 seconds you get 2.5 points so that's about like you know as much of time as you would expect to get CPU RAM is also pretty cheap 150 points for like um, 1 gigs of RAM costs 600 points, which is fair enough. Disk, uh, 2 gigs costs uh, 500 points. And extra servers, if you want that, you can put that too. We also have Lingo Ties, which um, and Labs loves. You'll earn 5 points by completing the Lingo Ties link. You can also join servers for rewards, which um, they don't have. Yet, so um, yeah, you could also give points to people. Uh, you can redeem coupon codes and everything like that. So um, I'll try to get a coupon code for you guys so that you can like get a couple points, like you know, something like 12 points or 25 points, 50 points, 100 points. Depends. And in what resources they have on that, it's called. So let me just show that to you. Um, right here. Alright, yeah. So this is the server. And you can go to invite rewards. As you can see, there are three invites for 100 points, 5 for 150, 10 for 250, 15 for 350, 30 for 500, 50 for 1000. So, yes, if you join with my link, you will also be supporting me and be making an SMP soon, which I'm going to be inviting you guys to. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty private, but I'm going to be 
um, hiring players or like selecting players. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty good. So you have all of that. You're earning point like per 15 seconds, which is pretty cool. And please, my hum humble request is to keep this host running and not closing like every other host that I've made a video on. Please turn off your ad blocker whenever you visit this site or just make an exception like I'm using uh, ad block which I recommend to you guys a really good free ad blocker but please whenever you come here just pause either always or once okay to get the site now anyways um your servers so we need to buy we need to create a new server just close all that. That. So, um, SMP. I'm gonna be, um, sorry, I hit my mic. <laughs> uh, so yeah. And this is where the portions of the consciousness are going to open house. CPU so 1, RAM, uh, 208, 2 gigs. And then 512 is 5%. So uh, they have a Germany node, that's all they have right now. And you can make a vanilla server, so make sure you select that if you want to make like plugging the server, you can do that. And a paper slash spigot server if you want to make a server that has plugins. Mods I don't think are supported yet. Oh, okay. We got it. Mm, that's how you do it. Yeah. So, you need to put 1, 2, and 5, as in 1 cores, um, 2 gigs of RAM, as in 2, these are 2 gigs, and then 5, as in 5 gigs of this. Okay. So, now we need to come panel. Just forget, I did a mistake. Just middle click on the panel, it will take you to the next, or if you're on a laptop, then control, click. So we need to go to account settings, then we need to set account password. Okay, copy password, and then we paste that in here, and we need Put the username is in my email. So that is here. Okay, good. So this is the panel. Now, what we're going to be doing here is we're not going to be starting this up yet. Let's just check the file manager if everything's fine. Um, I'm gonna go to startup and see. Okay, this is Java 17. So, I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm just gonna be making 1.18, just like that. I'm keeping everything the same. You can change it. I'm gonna be showing you it in another video. I'm gonna go change the 1.16 or not. The database is here, I'm not going to do about that right now. You can make other users who use um, MicLabs hosting. You can add them to your server so you can give them permissions. Like if I click on user, then I can come, I can just add their emails and then I can give them permissions on the server, on the panel. So yeah, that's pretty good. You also have settings. So you can like, you know, change the server name and all of that. Um, yeah, yeah, this level is that, and then you need to start. <laughs> Alright, you can see it's 1.18.2. So, basically, what's running, I'm just showing you this. Just as a side note, you can go to paper, paper version server, you can go to downloads in the first link. And we can go to the legacy, which is everything before 1.17, I think. So yeah, you need to um, do that, do that, do that. So that's 
Alright, so we're gonna have legacy downloads, yeah. It is 1.17 and 1.16.5, the most popular one. So yeah. You can download anyway and then import it in here. Delete the old server.jar and then you need to rename the file that you've imported to server.jar. Make sure you do that. I'm gonna click on start again, I think. Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay, I need to use the UI. So I'm just gonna stop it. And it's gonna stop as soon as it says stop. That's a deal. So it's gonna ask you if you accept the UI or not. You need to click on yes, and then it, can, it will actually start creating the server for you. So meanwhile, I'm gonna just open a T-Launcher so you don't have a premium account yet. And yeah, I have been playing the demons later on. So uh yeah. Do you go on Optifine? I won't put anything but to enter the game. I'm gonna be doing a few more settings that are going to help you to make your server correct and yeah, all of that good stuff. So as you can see Minecraft is loading problems and the server is online. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop the server. Yeah. Music and sound. Just turn that down a bit. Yep. Uh, yeah, it will be up, up a bit. Go to multiplayer. So the server is stopping. Don't let the server stop. Let's save the world. That sounds really weird. But yeah, it's gonna save the world. So as you can see with the store of files and the worlds and all, we just took 152 MB of our 5 gigs of disk. And that's offline, so now we can make the changes that we want to. We're gonna go to server that properties, and then we're gonna look for the motto of the day, which is basically server description. We're gonna say, play custom P. Alright. Don't change anything else unless you know what you're doing. And we're gonna search for. Online mode or something like that. Um, yeah, there it is. So you're gonna change that to false in all small letters, and then you're gonna save content. And then we're gonna go to our server again, and we're gonna click on stop. Now it's for back to players. Great job! So I'm going to teach you in the next episode how to add plugins actually, and um, yeah, how to set up every single plugin. I'm going to show you everything that are needed for an SMP, and then I'm going to make another server, which I'm going to be teaching you for mini games. And I'm going to be also showing you how to make a subdomain. So yeah, let's go here. Let's copy the IP. Server, previous, and then refresh. As you can see, there are 20 people. We can change that. Alright. Um, smooth. It's pretty smooth. Yeah. Everything looks fine. Um, the chunk loading is a bit slow. It's probably because of my internet. Yeah, my internet is not the best. So yeah. Yeah, it's my internet. 
Or we can just go on to Google and then check. Yeah, the server's struggling to keep up a bit. It's 100 clicks per time ago, oh god. Um, yeah, so, that will happen always, you can upgrade your stuff. Like, for example, you can upgrade your, um, what shall I say? You can, yeah, you can upgrade your CPU to make it um, not lag as much. As you can see now, it's um, pretty good. Yes. Oops, I'm not moderator. I'm just TPS. Uh, oh yeah, it's it's 20 TPS right now. So yeah, it's my internet. Okay. Yeah, it's a good guys. Alright. I am a server operator and we can just TPS. Yeah, it's 20 TPS slash game now creative. I can go to creative and I can fly as much as I want. They keep you upgrading the resource in pretty good time. Uh yeah. So this is the server, it's not bad at all. And yeah, I used to have a mine shaft in a desert. The hell? Oh, so this is basically like a mini survival, okay. Interesting. So yeah, as I mentioned, everything is fine. So thank you so much for watching.